Um, hello there, Flying Fox and Bambi Productions here. So I'm gonna be doing a reaction video. So, so there is a series made by DCG One to B called Jimmy the Genty. So I'm gonna be reacting to the epi to the episode Jimmy and William. I have actually, it's very nostalgic this series. So DCG One to B. I hope if you're watching this, then I hope you'll enjoy it. So yeah, let's dive into uh, Jimmy and William. Let's do this. Let's just put the subtitles off. So the automatic subtitles are, are weird these days. Okay, let's get moving. Oh, Jimmy and William. It's not fair," snapped a voice. No, it's William and I. Jimmy becomes Shedmaster's favorite, and now we get a new coat of paint. Whatever is becoming of this railway. You know, I William. He's actually. Yeah, I can see that William. He has mighty Ma mighty's angry face, and Ivet has like Thomas's concerned face. In the shed were two large tank engines. The biggest was William. And I think William is a is a LMS Stania tank. I think. He was a passenger tank who pulled the commuter trains every day, taking people to and from work. His attitude matched the rat race, sharp-tongued and endlessly complaining. The other engine was Ivert. He was much quieter than William, and didn't complain as much. He was a hard worker and quick off his wheels. This earned him the nickname Mickey Mouse Tank. <laughs> That's kind of funny that they named the Ivert 2MT's Mickey Mouse. <laughs> he preferred Ivert. Just look at that! Shedmaster's pet! spluttered William. Ah, here comes Jimmy the Genty himself. Jimmy steamed into the sheds. He had a new coat of paint, and on it was a brand new British Railways crest. Hmm. Spoilt, scoffed William. That's what you are. He's not spoiled. I'm not spoilt, retorted Jimmy. Every engine is being given this new crest. Anyway, I deserve to be spoiled. You don't, you just complain all the time. Uh huh, yeah, that, that's a good one, Jimmy. <laughs> Ever since you've been named after the Shedmaster, you've become all high maintenance. Shunters don't deserve names. Then that's a bit racist for engines, William. Not important. That's enough, William. Boomed a voice. Oh wait. Pulling up alongside oh, Mary, it's the Duchess of Gloucester. She was a powerful express engine with a big heart and acted as a mother figure for engines smaller than her. Jimmy deserves his name because he is important, the Duchess snorted. William fell silent. Oh, look at your crest, smiled the Duchess. You look very smart. I'm sure the young boys at the end of the platform will take down your number tomorrow. Jimmy beamed proudly. While Looks like William is jealous. William sulked. Every morning the commuter train sets off from the station empty and arrives back full of passengers. Wait, wait, that, that's not Ivert, that tank engine here pulling into the station with the coach. I think it's a standard three, I think. It can be hot and bothering work. Many engines don't like to pull this train, and many don't get the chance. William is fiercely protective of it. It makes him feel important. Jimmy shunts the coaches into the platform and backs off as William arrives. Everything goes like clockwork, but today there were problems. As Jimmy shunted the coaches, young boys on the platform were writing down his number and examining his new British Railways crest. Jimmy felt very pleased with himself. I really do like of how like um he actually puts those um printed out Thomas the Friends faces onto the engines and like I know like when they like change faces from a different engine like there was a there was a standard five called Terry. And when he has his happy face, he has Edward's happy face. And when he's, like, angry, he has, like, Gordon's angry face. But he couldn't stop long. Come on, Jimmy, said his driver. Time to go. As the driver was about to pull the regulator, the fireman quickly stopped him. Wait, he called. The signal's against us. He was right. Jimmy oh, the signal's the red. Move. Don't know why. Jimmy blew his whistle. That was a very loud whistle. Let me through, please, he peeped. The signal didn't move. Then came the booming whistle of William. He 
Uh, that, that whistle sounds like from an LMS Black 5. Well, you know, every engine built by William Stanier has this, those kind of whistles. He was very cross and eager to couple up to his train. The signalman walked across the tracks. The station master came to see what the commotion was about. A set of points have jammed, explained oh, the signalman. Some I've points are jammed. to come and fix them, but you'll have to get another engine to take this train out. The station master turned to Jimmy. Do you think you can pull this train? He asked. I'll do my very best, replied Jimmy Bray. <laughs> I know Jimmy will do well. That's a good engine, smiled the station master. Jimmy was coupled back onto the train. The guard blew his whistle and Jimmy steamed away. Yeah, William you go. seethed with rage. Jimmy worked hard all morning. He struggled a few times, but he kept on going. Oh, there was a, the back coach was shaking a bit side to side. He pulled the train so well that he was on duty to take the tea time rush home. William was eventually freed from the points and spent the rest of the day being a shunter and doing Jimmy's work. It served him right for being rude. Yeah. Jimmy was the last to arrive back at the shed. Wait, wait. Okay, can you see this 4F here? I think his name was like Fred, I think. That was the shedmaster came over to speak to him. Congratulations on your fine effort today, Jimmy, he said proudly. Your driver says he has never driven a better engine. Oh, sir, whistled Jimmy joyfully. Soon cleaners came to it. Yeah, yeah, you can see that 4F right next to William. I think this is, I think his name was Fred. And I think he also wears Neville's faces, I think. Turned to the engines. One of them looked at William. Here, he called. This is that new shunter at the station I was telling you about. Does it have a name? Asked the other. Nah, it's not important. It's only a shunter. The other engines laughed. William thought that for mainline engines they were being very silly indeed. Oh, really? But you know, William, he never actually changes his face. He always has this angry face. He, he never actually changes his face expression. Like, I saw an image of, of William with, with a happy face, but I forgot, but I don't know which episode it was when William had that face. So, yeah. Ah, okay, so that's it. So that was my reaction from... Jimmy the Gin D episode 2 Jimmy and William. Yeah, so hope you enjoyed this video and like the video, subscribe and and um and 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 I'll put the original link of the video in the description below. It's called Episode 2 Jimmy and William made by DCG12B. If I if I'm pronouncing wrong, I'm sorry, dude. So yeah. And I hope you'll enjoy this I hope you enjoyed this video. Like the video, subscribe and bye.